Hey guys! This is Cartoon Recapped. Today we'll show you a 2019 family comedy cartoon called Klaus. Be aware of heavy spoilers. Sit back and enjoy the show. In 19th century Norway, the royal postmaster general has enrolled Jesper Johansson, his lazy, spoiled, self-centered son, into a postman training academy in the hopes that it will reform him. Jesper deliberately underperforms, so his father assigns him as the postman of the distant, northern island town of Smirensburg with the task of establishing a post office there and posting 6,000 letters within a year. If Jesper fails, he will be cut off from the family's fortune. Jesper finds Smirensburg, comprised almost entirely by two feuding familial clans, the Ellingbos and the Crumbs. Jesper desperately requests letters from the townsfolk, but to no avail. Searching far outside of town, he finds an isolated house filled with handmade toys and inhabited by a tall reclusive woodsman named Klaus. Terrified by Klaus' imposing appearance, Jesper flees, leaving behind a drawing from one of Smirensburg's crumb children. Klaus forces Jesper to bring him to the house depicted in the drawing and secretly deliver a toy inside, which cheers the boy up. Word spreads to the other children and they go to Jesper the next day, believing they will receive a toy if they send Klaus a letter. Jesper capitalizes on the idea to make progress on his goal and asks Klaus if he can donate his toys, Klaus agrees provided they operate at night and Jesper continues to deliver the toys in secret. The crumb boy's toy leads him to play with an Ellingbow girl, much to their clan's outrage. As more children write letters to Klaus, Jesper tells a boy who had earlier ridiculed him that Klaus knows whenever any child misbehaves and only gives toys to good children. This prompts the children to perform acts of kindness, which gradually inspire the rest of the townsfolk to end their ancient dispute. The children ask bitter teacher turned fishmonger Alva to teach them to read and write so they can send letters, inspired, she uses her savings to reopen her school. Noticing that Klaus's toy supply has almost run out, and with his deadline approaching, Jesper tries persuading Klaus to make more toys in time for Christmas. Klaus refuses, and after Jesper inadvertently angers Klaus, Klaus forces him away. Motivated by Margot, a Sami girl who can't write or speak in Norwegian, Jesper works with Alva to help Margot write a letter, then attempts to build Margot a sled alone. Seeing Jesper's effort, Klaus reconciles with him and the two finish the sled. Upon delivering the sled and seeing Margot's joy, Jesper is genuinely moved. Klaus reveals that he had made the toys for the children he and his wife Lydia hoped to have, but could not conceive, only for Lydia to die from an illness. Klaus agrees to the Christmas plan, and Margot arrives with the rest of her people to help. As the town and Jesper's relationship with Alva flourish, Jesper finds himself conflicted about whether to leave Smirensburg. Meanwhile, family elders Axel Ellingbow and Tammy Crum form a temporary truce, wanting to stop Jesper and Klaus so the families can resume their feud. Together, they discover Jesper's initial motive and forge enough letters to meet well over his target. Jesper's father arrives on Christmas Eve to congratulate his son, inadvertently revealing Jesper's original scheme to his friends. Just before they leave town, Jesper's father notices his son's remorse, after a private talk, he allows Jesper to stay. Jesper tries to stop the elders and their angry mob from destroying the Christmas toys, during the resulting chase, Axel's daughter Magdalene and Tammy's son Olaf fall in love. Tammy seemingly destroys all of the Christmas toys, however, Alva and Klaus had already replaced the toys with decoys after the town's children warned them of the mob's ambush. Still, Jesper's actions have redeemed him to Klaus and Alva. Smirensburg becomes a happy town, as the family elders reluctantly end their feud due to the marriage of their children. Jesper marries Alva, and they raise two children. He and Klaus continue to deliver presents in Smirensburg and beyond for 11 years. On the 12th year, Klaus feels his wife's presence in the wind and, going to join her, disappears. Although he is gone, Klaus lives on in Christmas stories, and so every subsequent Christmas Eve, Jesper waits for Klaus, who returns every year to deliver toys across the world. Thanks for watching. 
Hope you all enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.